so we are playing, it is Escape Room The Game. And I actually played the original Escape Room The Game box that came out years ago. Like right when Escape Room games were first coming around, I played the first box of theirs, at least two of the four scenarios, I think. Um, but I haven't played any of their games for a while. And as it turns out, I looked at, I downloaded their app and looked, there are they have made so many escape room games, like so many. Let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. I count 31 different games. Holy moly. How have I not played more of these? I really like this system or I did early in my tenure as an escape room board game fan. Um, so when I saw the Jumanji themed one though, I thought that would be pretty neat. This is based on the, the, the storyline, I believe from the newer Jumanji movie, uh, not the original. So this is the one where you get sucked into a video game rather than a board game, um, I believe. Although I haven't like read up on the story exactly. Yes, they do have VR ones as well, Nick. That's a good point. Um, yeah, and I think that's in here too. But needless to say, I might pick up some more of these at some point. I love that I keep buying escape room games. I haven't even gotten through all of the ones that I already have. But I can't play an unlock every week. I mean, I could, but I want to mix it up. You know, I don't want to play unlock every time. So... Um, I don't, we don't need to use the app for this game in case anybody does not like using apps with their games. It is not necessary. In fact, um, there isn't really much to the app. So I just brought it up to show you all. Um, if you hit this play button right when you start one of the scenarios, it will play music or sound effects. And, um, we don't need that because <laughs> it's probably just going to be annoying and obtrusive. And then you can take a picture to share on social media if you escape using the app. Um, but you do not need an app to play this specific escape room game. So I opened up, there are three different scenarios that come in this box specifically. An introduction game, which we're going to play first, and then two full adventures. The introduction game is 15 minutes. The two full adventures are 60 minutes each. So what I'll probably do tonight is play the intro game and the first adventure. And then next Tuesday, my plan is to play the second adventure. That is my current plan, at least. Um, so I'm gonna move my phone so it is out of the way. And then I'll move my keyboard because we're not gonna need it either, at least not right now. And we don't need the box. It's empty now. It's got some cardboard in it. Swoop, we'll slide that back over there. All right, so we've got, um, this is the main thing that comes with these escape room, the game games, and that is the chrono decoder. Um, and there are some uh, ciphers and um, I don't remember what the name is for all of these things, but there's some ways to solve puzzles on the sides of the box. Hi, Doom Kitten. Um, and I did take pictures of those and put them in the discord. Can't watch because you'll probably play it one day since you love escape rooms. Well. This Doom Kitten, this company has made 31 different escape rooms. So <laughs> if, you, if you think you're going to play all of them, uh, then yes, minimize. But I mean, chances are they, they, this, this one company, Escape Room the Game, has made 31 different games. This is the Jumanji one, so maybe you won't. Yeah, that's kind of what I'm thinking, right? Like, is the Jumanji one really going to be that good? I like it because of the theme, but yeah. No pressure to watch. I'm just saying, if it were me, I'd be the same thing. I'd be like, oh, I might play this. I don't want to spoil it. But there are so many escape room games at this point. There is no way everybody is going to play them all. I mean, not no way, but you, you all know what I'm saying. <gasps> Hi, Amanda. You'd prefer to think that they're all good. You know what? I like that attitude. The optimism is nice. Okay. So what I was saying about the chrono decoder, I did put pictures of, yeah, you get to help me solve it. That's what the whole point of me streaming these is, is the chat helps. Um, admittedly, sometimes there are components that are really difficult to see on stream, but when that is the case, I take pictures and I upload them into the Discord. So, um, and I did already upload some pictures. I uploaded pictures of the fronts and backs of all eight keys that come with the game uh, and the sides of the Chrono Decoder. The keys go into the Chrono Decoder to solve puzzles. 
Um, and yeah, so uh, I'm gonna make sure. Oh yeah, perfect. Thank you, Nick, for dropping a link to the Discord for anybody who isn't in the Discord already. Um, but yes, those photos are in the live on stream channel in the Blitz Discord. So <gasps> happy Pride, Lizzie! Thank you so much. Um, oh my gosh, so many friends in the chat. I love it. Oh, Amanda posted the Discord too. Perfect. Thank you. We all got the Discord link going on. <laughs> Doom Kitten's like, I can do this as well. You know what, y'all? I love it. I love it. Um, so I will say there is one, not caveat, but there's one thing about this system that is a downside playing on stream when compared to some of the other board game systems like Exit or Unlock. In Unlock, you can pause the game. Like if you have to go to the bathroom or if you're streaming and somebody raids you and you want to stop playing for a minute, you can pause. I don't believe I can pause this game. And actually what we can do, hold on, we can test that. I'm going to turn on the 15 minute one and I'm going to hit the start button and see if it'll let me pause it if I hit it again. Oh, this plays music too. Oh, we're going to get music no matter what. Okay, if I hit this, what happens? Nothing happens. Okay, perfect. So yeah, we definitely cannot pause in the middle of the game. So I am going to have to make peace with the fact it does not have a hard fail when uh, time expires. You, it does let you keep playing. It starts counting time up. Um, uh, but you don't get the victory music if you finish after time expires. So basically, we all need to just realize that we're not going to hear the victory music because I'm going to be narrating everything I'm doing and that inevitably takes longer than if I was playing it by myself. So I'm, I'm, I'm tell, saying this out loud more for myself than for you all because I'm going to be sad when time runs out. I always am a little bit, even though it doesn't matter, like, especially because this one has victory music. Like, I want the victory music. All right, regardless, y'all, let's head into the intro scenario. So this is the 15 minute one. Um, I'm Before I hit that start button, we're gonna get some things out. I could do a mouth trumpet victory sound. You know what, that's actually a good point. Um, okay, contents, chamber, diary page, TV screen, web page, oops, that's a rule book, and console and two hint cards. Okay, so yes. We have the two hint cards, which I will put up here. They require the Redlands technology. So, oh, I need to flip them over though, because they show what time you can, yes. So when we have 10 minutes remaining, we, we have access to this hint card. When we have five minutes remaining, we have access to that hint card. We've got the console, we've got the diary, and the TV screen slash web page. Okay, cool. Um, and again, I know you all can't see all the details on these. <laughs> Can I record the victory music and add it to the VOD? I mean, no, this is not a one use and done. Um, there are, um, if you, there are any components that you write on, um, or destroy, they, you can print them off. They have them on the website. I don't actually know how much stuff, oh, I don't have anything to write with. I might need something to write with. Mind, mightn't I? <laughs> I should grab a pen. Where? Okay. Okay. So erasable pen. So that way I can erase it if I write on stuff. All right. Um, I'm going to read the, the intro thing and then we will start the timer. Here we go. Level zero. Chamber investigation. It has been four days since your classmate and friend, Jesse, disappeared. On the night of the disappearance, Jesse's worried parents called each one of you to ask whether you'd seen Jesse, but none of you had seen Jesse after class. The next day, the parents called the police to investigate the disappearance of their child. However, the police haven't had any leads up until now. It seems as if Jesse had just vanished into thin air. Today, you decided to pay Jesse's parents a visit to comfort them, but more importantly, to do some investigating yourselves. After drinking a cup of tea with the parents, you've asked them whether you could see Jesse's room. The mom explained that the police have declared the room off limits until the investigation is finished. After a long time of pleading and begging, the mom finally gave in. Okay, she said, but be sure to get out of there in 15 minutes before the police continue their investigation. <laughs> you all are ridiculous. I love you all very much. You're silly. 
<laughs> Thank you for the compliments. Um, okay, so we have 15 minutes in Jesse's room. You thank her and make your way up to Jesse's room. The room hasn't changed a bit since you were last there. As you walk around the room, you are suddenly startled by strange drumming noises coming from within the closet. You try to open it, but find it to be locked. Upon further investigation, you find Jesse's diary. Maybe this will hold some clues about Jesse's whereabouts and the mysterious drumming noises. Level zero, find out what happened to Jesse by following the steps in the diary before 15 minutes are up. Okay. So we've got this page here. Ooh, that ring light might make this harder rather than easier. Will it go down any lower? That is as low as it goes. When I zoom in, we'll see. I, I like having more light, but then the ring light kind of creates that glare. So we'll have to see how this works. But what I'm going to do before I start the timer is I'm going to show you all everything. And again, sorry for the ring light glare. Um, we've got drum noises coming from the closet. I imagine those are going to matter because they look very specific, but we'll look at that in a minute. We've got the computer screen, which we have a piece of paper that represents that. Um, oh my gosh, look at the cute animals on the bed. Those are adorable. Love them. Yeah, lots of animals in here, actually. There's, wow, there's, I mean, Jesse, there's a, there's a snake, there's some giraffes. There's drawings of animals. There's a little bear cub. Hold on, look at this. Oh my gosh, yeah, and that tiger. There's an elephant on the shelf. There's so many, so many animals. Okay, so we've got, that's what's in the room. We've got the console here, which has four controllers with tangled up cords. I imagine we'll have to suss that out probably. Again, I'm not solving anything. I'm just examining stuff because we're already gonna be at a disadvantage with the timer. Um, what, what did you say, Mom? Oh, Crystal has always talked fast. Once, her uncle, a radio DJ, asked her to do the ad so all the words could get in a minute. Oh my god, I forgot about that! I totally forgot that Uncle David asked me to do that! Yeah, I do, I do talk very quickly. Um, <laughs> and, fun fact, when I started college, I actually was planning on going into radio myself. Um, which is ironic because I now have a podcast, but yeah, working in radio proper, I, I realized while I was in college was not for me, uh, mostly because the hours are horrible and the money is also horrible. And yet somehow that, yeah. So needless to say, I, like, I, I don't need everything to be perfect in my career, but like all of the things seemed not ideal working in radio in the modern age. So it's a board game about getting sucked into a board game. <laughs> I mean, it's a board game about getting sucked into a video game that's based on a board game. I don't know what that means. <laughs> yeah, work-life balance is important. And uh, a lot of radio DJs I know don't have great work-life balance or their hours are so ridiculous that it's impossible to maintain a good, like, regular life. Okay. So the other stuff that we have, we have the character selection screen. So, and then this is the computer screen. African drums and their sounds. Oh, that's gonna matter here in a minute, I bet. Okay, and then we have the diary, which I will read the diary. Oh, and then we have a grid with the room. <laughs> oh my goodness. I think the important part is one of us is going to turn into the rock at the end of tonight. Oh no, Doom Kitten, don't let your food burn. <laughs> uh, yes, this is based on the, the newer Jumanji movie with the video game. So, um, okay, I'm reading the diary and then I'm going to hit the start button officially. Dear diary, late last night I awoke to the strange sound of drumming coming from my closet. I tried to open the door but couldn't figure out which key to use. Then I noticed a pattern in the drumming. It was almost like the thing in the closet was trying to tell me something, like it wanted to be found. I went online on my computer and found what I was looking for. I opened the closet and found an old gaming console with a game called Jumanji in it. I'll definitely try out the game after school. I hope it has animals in it. Code. Okay, so the, the way this game works, I'm glad I did this before I started the timer. The code is, um, 
one, two, three, four, and there are four keys um, that are going to, or maybe we'll have to put in the keys multiple times. I think it'll be more clear when we get to it, but, oh yeah, Robin Williams, super sad. Um, okay, so, co well, all right, I'm hitting the button. We're, we're not going to make it in 15 minutes, and that's okay. I'm trying to deal with it. Okay. If the sounds get too annoying, please let me know, because they're near the microphone. Okay, decipher the drum sounds to find the key to the closet. Okay, so the drum sounds listed here say boom, fan, oh gosh, no, tan. Boom, tan, tong, pack, boom, do. Okay, so if we look on this sheet here, We've got boom, tan, tong, pack, boom, do. We do have the grid of the room somewhere. Oh, that's in the back of the diary. I can't tell what order these are supposed to be in. Is it like one, two, three, four, five, six, or one, two, three, four, five, six? They're, they're trying, the drums are trying to tell them something. Oh, there's letters. Hold on, there's letters associated with the thing. So we're gonna have to use the chrono decoder. Okay, so if I grab some paper. Oof. Um, we've got boom which is a c pack which is an i i think that's an i tan which is an r uh boom again which is another c tong which is an l and do which is an e circle okay cool so that means we know that the key to the closet is a circle, one of the circle keys. So the, the keys have different shapes in them, circle, square, uh, pentagon, and triangle. But there's multiple keys with circle in them, so I don't know. Do I just put this in? Okay. Oh, we need all four. So circle is going to be the first one because these are identical on both sides, aren't they? Yeah. So circle is the first one. I'm just going to put that in. Okay. So then next, the diary says, find out which part of the room the missing con in in which part of the room the missing controller is hidden. Okay. The missing controllers all have, or the the controllers that are not missing. No. So maybe we need to, oh, we just need to look for it in the picture, right? I'm gonna hold this up. I know that that ring light is a little bit annoying. I see socks. I'm trying to see where the room, where the controller is. Under the covers? I don't, I don't see anything. Oh wait, oh wait. No, I see the cord. It's, um, it's up on the shelf here. Hold on, there it is. Okay, so it's on that one, two, three, fourth shelf, one, two, three, fourth shelf. So circle again is the second one. So we do circle, circle. Okay, now next. Find the order in which the controllers are plugged in and translate the symbols in that order. Okay. Oh, so we'll this we'll have to use the thing for. So apologies. Well, you know what? I can I can take a picture of this 
No, it's okay. Y'all, it's tracing lines. I think you all are fine if I just do this, I assume. So. Okay, so that's C thing is first. Then number two is that thing. It's a C with two dots inside of it. The real salties, thank you for the follow. Lana doesn't know what to think of the monkey sounds. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. Okay, three. That. Oh, so that would that roar means we have ac uh, access to a hint card if we want. Um, but I'm not going to do that yet. All right, and so then that one has got to be the last one. So then we have to translate that using probably the chrono decoder. Yes, there are symbols. So um, if you all look in the Discord, you will be able to see uh, what these mean. But basically, that one with no dots is an F. With two dots is an O. That thing is a U. And that with one single dot is an R. So four is the word that I got for this one. So we need to find a key that has four on it. Yep, and these two are the same, so we do this, okay? Um, and then figure out which character Jesse has chosen, okay? All right, so we have to look at this and figure out which character Jesse has chosen. I mean, Jesse said that they hope there are animals in the game. So I would assume Jesse has chosen the animal expert, right? Like that kind of makes the most sense to me. But I don't know what to do with that fact. Are these symbols somewhere else? Oh, it's oh, it's number two. Just so if I put key number two in, do you think that'll work? I'm gonna try. That was not as hard as I thought it was going to be, or as time consuming, I should suppose. But there, we got the victory thing, y'all. We got the Jumanji um, for the intro scenario. Okay, I feel more confident remembering how this system works now, which makes me feel better. I'm glad I did the intro. Now we can hop into level one of the game. Um, yeah, 639. Uh, I mean, admittedly, I kind of cheated because I read the diary before we started the timer. So even, but even if you added like three or four minutes onto that, it would still be under the 15. So, all right. That, again, that's supposed to be very easy. It's supposed to get you into the game. So that's the, you know, that's the easy one. Uh, we're going to need to take keys out and I'm going to put them back with their respective counterparts because the, the keys, some of them are double-sided and some of them are not. Um, so what we're gonna do, you didn't see any cheating? You think prep is allowed? Okay, cool. Especially cause I'm streaming it, right? Um, so I turned the box off. Well, I'll just go ahead and take a picture of the room and put it in the discord. Absolutely. As soon as I open up the, um, the materials here, I will take pictures of anything cause I have not opened up the level one materials yet. I didn't want to, uh... okay. It was hard to see the smaller details, absolutely. I, I mean, I knew the intro scenario wasn't gonna be that interesting anyway. This one I hope will be really neat. Although I have to say y'all, you are going to wanna come back next week because the scenario that I'm gonna be playing next week definitely has a jigsaw puzzle in the bag, so. Just saying, I know y'all like jigsaw puzzles. Andy streams them here a lot, but yeah, that, um, okay. Ooh, oh, okay. So we got level three, level two, and level one, all part of this scenario. We've got our hint cards, um, which I'm going to take out of the protective thing and lay out so I can see the times. It's just every five minutes. Well, no, then every 10 minutes. Okay. We'll just put those over here. Did my camera get messed up? What did I do? It's fine. All right. Do not open before you have read the story on the envelope out loud. Needed. Scissors. Good to... Level one, the secret cabin. 
Smack! With a loud boom, you fall from the sky and land in some sort of jungle. What is this? It takes some time for you to realize that you and your friends have just been sucked into a computer game. As if that isn't bad enough, it looks like you're in somebody else's body. After a few minutes, you figure you have actually been transported into one of the computer game's avatars. This feels like the weirdest thing ever. Suddenly, a thought crosses your mind. This must be what happened to your friend Jesse as well. If that is the case, Jesse must be somewhere in this strange place. I'm going to pause for a second. Board game companies, hire copywriters. Like, this text could be so much better. It's not, it's not bad. I'm just saying, like, it's not very natural or conversational. It could be better. I'm a copywriter. I could do better. <laughs> Upon looking around, you find a note stuck to a tree. It was written by Alan Parrish at 10 p.m., According to the note, Jesse was bitten by a snake a few minutes ago and needs to receive an antidote as quickly as possible. Provided Jesse would be in a cool enough place to slow down the venom, the antidote would still need to be administered to Jesse within four hours after the bite. Alan explains that he keeps the antidote in his secret cabin in the woods and that he has left clues to help us find the cabin. You look at your watch and see the time is already 1 a.m. That means there are only 60 minutes left to find the antidote and bring it to Jesse. Open this envelope now and check if all of the, the contents are present. Remove the contents from the frame, turn on the chrono decoder, and press the start button. Okay, so we get to open and look at stuff first, which we will definitely do. And I'm going to put these off to the side for now. Ooh. Make sure there's nothing else. Okay. So, things that we have. So, I need to take pictures of these to put in the Discord before. Yeah. Like the map of Jumanji, for instance. I will take a picture of that. I will, you know what? I'll just take pictures of all of these things. These wheels uh, aren't going to be super beneficial to you all. They're going to go on the machine, uh, the chrono decoder. Am I gonna have to? Yeah, we're gonna we're gonna have to. I'm just gonna go ahead and pull this stuff out of its I don't wanna rip it. I know this is super fun watching me rip paper. Wee. Bye, mom. I mean, that's true. Nick, you make a good point, but still. I, in theory, in theory, I could have opened this up and done it before the stream. I'm just saying, I could have. Uh-oh. Well, that wasn't perfect, but, oh gosh. I think that's fine. Dang, these circle ones are hard to tear out well. I'm gonna rip it. Okay. That. All right. 
I'm assuming both of these wheels are going to get used, but we'll see. All right, let me take pictures and put them in the Discord for you all. Let's see if I can get that closer up. Oh, I don't need don't I don't need live photos. There, live off. Let's try that again because that'll be smaller files. And then, okay, we gotta do map of Jumanji without glare. I don't know if this will be helpful to you all at all, but we're gonna try. Focus. Okay. Um, the back of this does not appear to have anything important, nor does that. The letter I'm gonna read. Yeah, we'll take a picture of it too. Why not? Because there's there's definitely stuff in this letter. All right, putting those in the Discord for you all. All of those are uploading right now and should be in the Discord shortly. Make sure they all get up there. Awesome. So now you all can see a little bit better what I'm seeing. And we gotta find Alan's secret cabin. That is the goal. Uh, I am gonna read his letter uh, before we start and then I will hit the start button and so the letter is in the discord if you all want to see um, What it says and there are some letters that are highlighted So those are going to matter and if, if you all want to solve that part of it, you can This is not a thing where I want to do everything on my own You all are welcome to participate so feel free to look at this letter in the discord and uh, help me figure out what it's trying to tell me Dear finder of this letter. I hope you all I hope you all quickly recover from falling into this crazy jungle Let's start with a warning. There is danger everywhere, and I really mean everywhere. Before you can leave this game, I need your help. Jesse was bitten by a venomous snake a few minutes ago and needs to get an antidote as soon as possible. Even in a cool and dark environment, the antidote needs to be administered within four hours of the bite. You can find the antidote in my secret cabin in the woods. It's very close to where you entered the jungle. Please find the map and check where you are now. My cabin is not on the map because it's the place I used to hide from my enemy, Van Pelt. Consider him your biggest threat. But don't worry, I left clues so you can locate the cabin. Hopefully, you will find the cabin and the antidote, and you are able to give it to Jesse on time. I wish I could help you, but I've been transported to another part of the game. Good luck, Alan Parrish. Okay, I'm going to hit the button, and we're going to get started. All right. So letters, let me grab my notepad and I'm going to start writing stuff down unless somebody else has already figured it out. Although I guess I, I, if I'm not looking up, I won't know that, but so F O L D, so fold L E T T E R, fold letter N U M B E R number. T O N U M. Uh, I lost my place. M B E R again. Yeah, two number. T H E N C U T. Okay, fold letter, number to number, then cut is what the red letters say. So. We've got numbers on the back of the letter. I apologize, I didn't take a picture of that, but you all wouldn't have been able to do any folding, so I guess that's probably okay. So it says fold number to number, then cut. Okay, so one to one first, so we go like that, okay. You're doing the word find, nice. Okay, so then we'll fold two to two.
and then three to three goes down here. Okay, and it says then cut. All right, there are lines with little scissors on them. I hate these types of things because I feel like I'm gonna screw it up, but we're gonna cut it. Okay, and then we cut over here as well. Okay, and I assume I then open this back up. Hey look, it's a three! <laughs> All right. Let's see what the map says. Find the secret cabin. Locate yourself on the map using the binoculars. Find a letter hidden on a coordinate secret hut. Find a letter hidden on Alan's, in Alan's letter. Find a number with the three compass parts. Find the direction on the last crossroads before you reach the cabin. Okay, so those are the four things we have to figure out. Locate yourself on the map using the binoculars. So there are binoculars on here. Oh, three or E. Yeah, I guess that's true. A letter hidden in Alan's letter. So it is, it's E. So E is number two. Find a letter hidden in Alan's letter. Yeah, so it would be E. So that would be number two. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that one in there. Okay, locate yourself on the map using the binoculars. So I, I y'all, the binoculars are the black page. Oh, I see. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I see. It's, uh, did I take a picture of this? I don't remember. I'm going to show you all now. So we're definitely not looking at the ocean. Like this is, there's water, but it's not the ocean. Right? Like there's definitely jungle. So it's, it's not three. It's not, there's no water here. There's no water there. There is water there. No water ocean. So I feel like it has to be Roman numeral L. Right? That's the only one that has water that isn't, um, you'd say one, Roman numeral one, but there's no water in that one. And there's definitely water in the image. So I think, yeah, I think it's L. Yeah, the water makes it tough. Um, so uh, Roman numeral L is on both of the A keys. So this is number one. So that goes here, okay? Find a number using the three compass parts, okay. So we gotta put these onto the Okay, <laughs> that lion scared me a little bit. <laughs> I hope it didn't scare you all like it did me. <laughs> but that means we could use a hint card if we wanted the first hint. Um, so, is there a dot anywhere on here? No, because there is like a little hole there for where, so west, oh, wait, hold on. The sun always starts in the east. and ends in the west. Did this one have anything on the back of it? Oh my gosh, it's very stuck on there now. I mean, I know it's just paper, but come off. Okay, nothing written on that one. Starts in the east and sets in the west and ends in the west. Okay, well this one, that so says E R and then oh this is the east. The sun always starts in the east and ends in the west. So this one has the west on it. This one has the east on it. Um, if you want to be friends with the lion, yes, you can be friends with the lion. If that's who you were talking about, I assume. Um, hmm. 
They got ER on all of them. I'm gonna zoom the camera in so you all can see a little bit better what I'm doing currently. Oh, sorry for the shakiness. So I don't know how to orient these to have them make sense. There's letters on the outside of this one, numbers on the outside of this one, and we are attempting to, what's the thing we're trying to do right now? Uh, find a number with the three compass parts. So we're trying to find a number. The sun. What represents the sun ends in the west? I mean, is this the sun? Does anybody have any ideas? How much time do we have left? We got two minutes till it'll let us do hint number two, because I'm assuming hint number one was about the first puzzle. I'm actually just gonna confirm that real quick. This is actually more information than I thought it would be. Follow the note from Alan on the map. This is the order of the code. Oh, wait. Follow the note from Alan on the map. This is the order of the code. Okay, combine the letters of the finished word seeker for a direction. Okay. What if I point the E on the ring to the E on the gear tooth? I mean, yeah, that makes sense. Oh, wait, which E though? Because there's the E for East. Yeah, the fourth answer is from the word search. Thank you, Nick. Um, it's weird that that's the first hint. I guess it was telling you that you don't have to do them in order, basically. Um, is this, no, it's the same size. Well, I need the next tent card. Okay, we got, I'm gonna go ahead and grab it because we're gonna get it in just a few seconds anyway, basically. We'll hear that lion. Okay, here we go. Place all three compass parts on the chrono decoder. Place them letter by letter in this order. E on E, W on W. This gives a color. Then the smaller one, zero on zero, gives you the number you need. What? <laughs> well, you all were right then. So E on E, W on W. Oh, there's a hole. So it's pink. It's pink. Okay. So then, oh my gosh, zero on zero. Then pink is five. Okay, cool. Number five. So that's number three. Yes, so five is on the back of one of these keys. Two, yeah, five, okay. So five goes in here. Then we need that word search. You posted the word find in the Discord, awesome. It makes an arrow, it points west. Okay, cool. The the word find, that's what it does? Here, I'm looking real quick. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. It makes an arrow. That oh, oh, these have arrows on them. So that means it's got to be this key, right? Because, yeah, that has an arrow. Okay, y'all, I'm putting it in. Here we go. Oh no, we lost a minute. What did I do wrong? Shoot! Points west. Yeah, I got, like, this This is the key I put in. It has an arrow pointing that direction. I think that one's correct. So which one did I screw up? <sighs> Locate yourself on the map using the binoculars. So maybe that's the one we got wrong. I bet, I bet the binoc, I bet I got that one wrong. 
Here, I'm gonna put the, I, you all got this one right, I'm certain. So I think it's the binoculars that I screwed up somehow. There's gotta be more of a hint regarding like where we are. I mean, that looks like a river though. I don't know how else to interpret this based on what's on the map. I guess it could theoretically be the one down here. Oh, wait, it says two, three, coordinate secret hut. Oh, that helps. Um, no, that helps. No, that doesn't find us. Right? Or it says it's close to where we landed, so maybe it does help us. So if two and three are four, five. Oh, that doesn't help. It's letters and numbers. Oh, wait. So then E4. C5? Does anybody have the map? What did I use for the second key? I used the E4 key for the second key. Is that correct? Because we believe it's the letter E, right? Maybe the letter was W? There is no W. It goes A through F um, for the letters on the keys. So I think it has to be an E. Um, maybe it's this one. That does have land and water. So let me find the key with that symbol on it. These are all the same, so it can't be that. Because both of those are already in there. Yeah, it was definitely E, but where could it be three? All right, we're going to lose another minute, but I'm going to try this. Dang it. Okay, yeah, yeah, we get another clue. Oh, this is not, this is for level two. Never mind. That's not, we, we're not there yet. We're supposed to be on level two already? Shoot! Shoot! We're behind! <laughs> Which one is it, friends? What do we do? Let me look at the picture again. I mean, it's very clearly an arrow pointing that direction, so that's got to be right. And the number with the three compass parts, we know, was five. It's definitely five. Is it pointing to the left? Yes. This is how I put it in. If I flip it the other direction, it's pointing to the right. So I did put it in like this. Here, let me zoom the camera back out again. I hate that I can't. Do anything, okay. Combine the letters of the finished word seeker for a direction. Yeah, that's, we know that. Locate your, the binoculars have got to be the problem, right? What the heck?
None of the others have water in them. Oh gosh, y'all. We're gonna we're gonna go way over time, aren't we? We're supposed to be on level two already, and I'm not even. So y'all, help me. Yes. So number one is locate yourself on the map using the binoculars. Number two, if you look in the um, Discord, you can see all of this stuff on the map. Um, number two is find the letter hidden. That one's the E. Find a number under three compass parts. This one's the five. Yep. And then that one is the direction. That's the arrow pointing left. So it's this first one. The binoculars are the problem, I think. Anybody have any ideas? <laughs> I'm stumped and I don't know what to do. That one has a tiny bit of water in it. Like the tiniest bit of water possible. Oh, I don't even have the key with that symbol on it. Well, we've already tried. Okay, hold on. We've tried this one. And we've tried this one. A's and B's are double-sided. So it has to be either D or C. So either Roman numeral 2 or Roman numeral X. I'm going to try X. Dang it! <laughs> okay, I know. We get all the hints for a thing that I can't even do. Can you get the binocular pick? Sure, it won't help, but <laughs> it's very unclear. Also, uh, take, sorry, it takes me a while to, oh gosh, and it flipped it. No. Discord is horrible about uploading photos. Discord is annoying. I need to add more photos. How do I do that? I have to, this is, I, I don't know how to turn the settings on Discord to let me just have access to all of my photos. Yes, select more photos, please. Do the thing that I want you to do. We're running out of time. If you all can figure out what that means, have that. But like, it's very unclear to me. There's, four, there's jungle and water and it looks like a river. And the only one with a river is the one with the Roman numeral L on it, which is A, which we already tried. This, I think the coordinates, did you all figure out the coordinates that I mentioned? The find the letter hidden in Alan's letter and find a number, coordinates to secret hut. Oh, is it two, three? Is it just, no, that wouldn't work, right? It needs a letter and a number. Does anybody figure out what that means? I put it in the discord, but this thing right here, what does that mean? That's what I'm trying to figure out also. Letter E, answer two. Yes, E, number two. Got it. Then number three, five. Done. Number four, arrow pointing left, done. All right, fine then. I don't. I already tried both of those. It's just going to keep Xing me down. The clue that gave us five is hard to recreate again. Uh, no, it's not that hard, I guess. So we put E to E. We put W to W. That points to pink. So uh, zero to zero. Pink is on number five. So, five. I mean, if I'm wrong there, I, I, I don't know how I could be. I, I did exactly what the clue card said, and that's what it gives me. So, uh, yeah. It's only nice if I can figure out what I've done wrong here. 
Does anybody want to look it up on Board Game Geek and see if anybody else had issues with this puzzle? Because I can't do that because I don't have my keyboard in front of me at the moment, but... I know I tried this one already. Maybe it isn't the first key that's the problem, but I still don't know what the first key should be. I still think it should be L, which is A. I mean, I don't see what we could have gotten wrong on the other ones is my only thing. Like, all of the others seem legit. Um, so, this is a little frustrating. Oh my god, y'all, there's an answer. Answer for level one, one, four, five, four. Are you kidding me? There's an answer on the card. We did that. I did this. Yo. One, four, five, four. I. Yes, they're, they're, the numbers, they're either double sided or the numbers are different on each side. I promise you. Here, I will show you all exactly what I've done. We'll zoom it in. And it will be very shaky, apparently. We have number one. I will hold it there for a second so that I don't. Number four. On the bottom of, yes, yes, yes. There's only two. There's the 60 minute thing and the 15 minute thing. So it, it knows which puzzle you're doing. Like it should just, it should be right. There's only one, that, so five, four. I, I've put in the keys correctly. No, there are multiple of each, of some of the numbers, but they are identical if there are multiple. Like A, for instance, is exactly the same, but front and back, both keys that have A on them. So it should work. So here's what we do. Here's what we do. We turn it off. <laughs> And sorry, I know I'm I'm sound frustrated right now, and that's because I am frustrated right now. <laughs> like when technology gets in the way of a game experience, it's frustrating for me. I apologize. I know I sound grumpy. Um, we're gonna try turning it back on. It, yes, literally. So here I'll show you all. Uh, oh gosh, there's a little switch, and it, you can either go to 15 minutes or 60 minutes. That's it. The game, based on what keys you put in, it just knows, I think. At least that's how it worked before when I played this in the past. Like, it just, it just knows. Um, so, putting on the 60 minutes. And we're going to put in the keys again. Because this was the first set of keys, right? Yeah, this is the level one keys. So I'm just going to hit start. We're going to see what happens. Maybe I have to put the keys in in order? Does that mean anything? So one, two, three, four. Well, <laughs> I believe we're at an impasse. Um. I don't know what to do because we can't move on until we solve the first one. We know we have the right keys. We know we have the right adventure. You have the official walkthrough open now? Okay. Um, 
Yeah, I don't, I mean, I, there must be, I, maybe I've done something ridiculously silly here. And it's going to be hilarious when we find out that I screwed it all up. But I showed you all the keys. And do we want... I mean, we could do that, I suppose. If, if, if you want to, Nick, that's a lot of work for you that you do not need to do, for the record. So that's your call, I suppose. Um, it, that is not required for you to do. <laughs> um, not an issue? Okay, well, we solved puzzle one. Hooray, or level one. We know we solved it. We don't know why the keys aren't working. Oh man, that means we're not gonna get to hear victory music. <laughs> You'll go or yay. Perfect, okay. Oh, entered the first correct code. Okay, well we did that. Level two, the antidote. Once you reach the cabin, you start looking for the antidote to Jesse's venomous snake bite. The cabin is full of colored bottles with potions, but which one do you need? Also, you also find a diary page as well as notes from Alan Parrish and three origami animals. Perhaps these can lead you to the correct antidote. Alan mentioned you need one last thing to finish the antidote, the venom of a snake. Level two, find the correct antidote. Okay. Oh my. Well, that's large. Here, let me zoom this back out. Um, okay. I'm gonna have to take put take some pictures for you all. They're gonna make me fold some origami. No, the level zero key combination is um, the different is a different setting on the box. There's a fifteen minute timer for that one and that one we already did so all right so we've got the diary page with the list of antidotes i'll take pictures of those i am not going to take pictures of the origami because that's going to need to be folded so i'll just put those over here for a second but i will take pictures of Oh my gosh, why are you not focusing? Focus! Okay. And then, some light. I'll take a picture of the top half first. Actually. Yeah, that doesn't mean anything. Okay, I think that should, well, there's more symbols. I don't know if I can capture this one well enough um, for you all, just as a heads up. We'll try to make that work, but... Okay. So, emergency, venomous snake bite. Find out which potion you need. Find the potion in the cabin. Find a snake and add its venom to the potion. Okay. Um, one and two. Find out which potion you need. Okay. Well, there's a bunch of potions sitting around. Ugh. I'm so bummed <laughs> that the machine isn't working. You made an origami Oshax cat? That's amazing. Uh, post it in the general channel and just, or even, uh, yeah, like where, um, yeah, or in the board game channel, actually. That would be great. I don't, wherever you want. It's, we're not super crazy about that kind of stuff. So don't worry. Um, okay. I guess I should read the diary, huh? Probably. Dear Diary, the jungle around the cabin is full of life. Today I see four different shapes of eyes from both adult animals as well as their little ones. 
The monkeys are louder than usual. Their one-eyed leader seems to be screaming the loudest. The jaguars seem to be doing very well this spring. They had the most babies of all the animals in the jungle. One elephant is still exiled from the herd after his failed attempt to become their new leader. There are also venomous snakes in the jungle. I hope they don't disturb my much needed rest. I identify animals in the night by shining my flashlight and looking at the left eye, which gleams the brightest. Okay. Well, there's a lot of animals on this. So this is the thing that was difficult for me to capture um, on uh, in the photo for you all. There are eyes all over the place. So one, one of these uh, shapes of eyes, there, there's only going to be one of them. So I'm looking right now to find the one-eyed leader of somebody. Like, these all have two eyes. I don't see a single eye anywhere. Where am I missing it? Because the shapes are going to be determined by the animals, um, like what types of eyes there are. I, honest to God, don't see a single eye anywhere. The monkeys are louder than usual. Their one-eyed leader seems to be screaming the loudest. Oh, there it is. It's literally right here. So the monkeys are circles. Um, okay. So we got to figure out who the snakes are. So the monkeys are the circles. I'm going to write this down. I'll forget otherwise. Okay. The jaguars seem to be very doing very well. They have the most babies. Okay. So we got to count the little ones of the other shapes. So triangles. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Six babies for triangles. For trapezoids, we've got one, two, two. Okay, not that, so it's not, so triangles so far with six is the most. So now we need to look at square babies. One, two, three, four. I only count four. So I think I, I guessed right first off. So jaguars are triangles. One elephant is still exiled from the herd after his failed attempt to become their new leader. Okay. So of the trapezoids or the squares, somebody got exiled. Okay. There's only one square over here and all of the other squares are down in this section of the map. So the squares have to be the elephants, which means the trapezoids are the snakes. Okay, so if the trapezoids are the snakes, what does that mean? <laughs> um, I don't know what to do with that information. Has anybody looked at the list of antidotes yet to see if there's anything interesting on that? Let's see here. We've got some colors and some shapes. We've got circles and squares and letters that are underlined. Oh, there's some colors written on the origami, so maybe I should fold these. Because these match the animals, so these will help maybe.
because I made a little, sorry, I was folding off the camera, I'm so sorry. Um, has a cork. Oh, so the potion has a cork. Oh, okay, yeah, let's keep folding stuff. <laughs> so the potion, uh, of the potions, it, this one does have a cork in it, and some of them do and some of them don't, so, okay. Sorry, I know you all can't help with the, uh, oh my gosh, that's totally fine, Doom Kitten, don't worry about it. Sorry, I know you all can't help with the origami, uh, and I also am going to try and fold on camera instead of off. So let's do that. Two. Right? This is, what does it say? Not square. Okay. So, has a cork. I should write these down. Has a cork. Not square. And, figure this out here. Oh, gosh. thing oh do I oh I pulled it in this way no just this hold on I've messed this up a little just this one oh I see I see I see okay oh we got a symbol oh no that's just the snake or the whatever animal this is five uh, you get folded in oh look it's cute it's cute not red. I could have seen that a little while ago, but that's okay. Okay, so. Oh, this is the bottles. I get it. Okay, okay, okay. So it's not red, so it's either blue or yellow. It's not a square. Um, so it's one of these three. And it has a cork, so that means it's this one. E, F. Um, is the letter. So which potion we need? So one and two are E, F. Okay. Oh, I literally just left the keys in. Okay. E. Uh, F is on the back of D, I think. No, let's see. Oh, it's on the back of that one. Okay. E, F. Okay. Find the potion in the cabin. Oh, so this is where the, the map comes in. Okay, I'm gonna slide this up and slide this up. Zoom this out a little bit more. Um, trying not to make it shake so much. So it's the yellow bottle with a cork. Yellow circle bottle with a cork. So that's yellow bottle, here it is. It's on the carpet, which is C, okay? So we do C. Find a snake and add its venom to the potion. Find a snake and add its venom to the potion. It's 
type of creature or like a epiphyte. I know I've heard of it before, but I don't remember. Is that a snake down there? I can't actually tell what that is. Like in the middle of the cabin. How do I get the... Any old snake will do. Yeah, right? Okay, let's see what the hint cards for level two say. Okay, yep, already did that. Hint card four. Potions and locations of underlined letters referring to the letters on the keys. Okay, so the, the snake's location would be the thing that we would also do if we could find the snake. It's too shiny. I can't see anything on this. I know I took some pictures of it. Where? We gotta find a snake in here. There's a snake in my boot. Oh wait, but we know the snakes. What shape are the snakes? They're trapezoids. So if we find a snake, is there a trapezoid somewhere? There is a trapezoid underneath the ladder. So if we do the A from ladder, will that work? I'm gonna give it a shot and see what happens. Oh, I love how I think that the machine is gonna work again somehow when we know it won't. So Nick, for, uh, as okay, and it is a buzzer. <laughs> oh dang, okay. Um, so we gotta find a snake. Do I need a much better hint? I mean, sure. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take a hint. I'll take whatever I can get at this point. Y'all, this is a hot mess with this machine not working right. What if the bug in the machine was that it missed level one? You've already worked out the symbol, right? Yes, trapezoid. That is the symbol for the snake. So I gotta find where a snake is on this thing. Um, there is a trapezoid underneath the ladder, which is why I thought A would be the letter, but that's obviously not correct. I'm trying to look and see if I can see a snake or just use a trapezoid key. Oh, ha! I mean, that, that would make sense. But I don't, but I, then I won't know what side. Uh, because the trapezoid key is double-sided. There's a, there's a D side and a C side with the trapezoid key. So, I don't know where I mean, I don't want to just guess both. That seems cheaty, right? Just says find a snake and add its venom to the potion. All right, I'm going to put in side C. I mean, I knew the thing was going to buzz, but we'll see if Nick also buzzes. Dang it. All right, I'm trying side D. I'm putting it in, but I'm not going to because I want the music to keep going. If I get a whole bunch wrong. So I, I'm putting in side D. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> How was I supposed to know it was that side? You'll, you can tell me later if you want, or type it in chat, whatever. Okay, taking out the keys. Past level two. Oh, there was another hint card for level two that I didn't do. Would this have helped? Let's see, I'm gonna look at it because I'm curious. Find the separate eye. Okay, count the most small eyes. Yep, check the biggest distance between the... Si okay, yeah, 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 yeah. okay, we already did that. So we're moving on to level three, everybody. <laughs> what a hot mess this has been. Why is anybody reread the letter? Oh, the diary entry? I hope they don't disturb my much needed rest. There's a part about flashlight. 
Oh yeah. Ident I identify the animals in the night by shining my flashlight and looking at the left eye, which gleams the brightest. Yeah, but what does that mean? Why am I missing something very obvious, obviously? Oh, their left eye. So it was his, it was the snake's left eye. So that was the trapezoid shape because it was flipped. I get it. I get it. Okay, that is obtuse, but whatever. It's fine. Level three. Yeah, it's obtuse. <laughs> okay, the tunnels. Alan's diary describes the tunnels as the coolest place nearby. This could be the location where Jesse went to slow down the snake venom. You follow the diary and find the entrance of the tunnels. You lower yourself into the tunnels with the ladder and have to find your way through the tunnels by following the clues that Jesse left for you. Beware, you have to avoid all the booby traps that are placed inside. Let's hope Jesse is still in the tunnels alive and well. Can <gasps> Brothers Murph! Hi, friends! Thank you for the raid. Uh, we are playing Escape Room the Game Jumanji right now. Here, I can grab the box so you all can see what we're playing. And in a really fun turn of events, there was sarcasm there, in case you couldn't note it. Um, the box was not seeming to recognize the correct keys when we put them in. So... The amazing Nayabari in the chat pulled up the walkthrough and is literally being my, my, my code box. So when I put the keys in, he tells me whether I'm right or wrong, and it's pretty amazing. Uh, I want to know how Ural's stream went. I lurked for a little while. I didn't say anything. Um, but, um, yeah, I would love to hear how, uh, how Ural's stream went this evening. I love you all, and I want to come out to LA and visit you. When can we make that happen? Y'all... I, we're, you're vaccinated, I'm vaccinated, I want to come to LA uh, and play board games oh, with you. So Thank you for the follow, you for Abby. Follow me. Yeah, I want to come out to LA and play games with all of the LA friends. With Ruel and Amanda and <laughs> Lana, yeah, Lana, we got the doggo cam. Yeah, yeah, I said your name Did I say your name? Yeah. <laughs> My sweet girl. Um. Oh, you said it come to LA. I thought you said Lana. <laughs> I was literally just talking about coming to LA. And then for whatever reason, when I saw L with a whole oh, bunch of A's after so it, exciting. I assumed that you were talking thank about Lana. I don't know where I put, how I put an N in there. Toy Bow Bow, thank you for the follow. Uh, yes, I want to come to LA. We should talk about when to make that happen. Maybe, I don't, any time. I would love to escape this Vegas heat. It is currently, when I started the stream, it was 112 degrees. It's now down to 107. So, uh, and thank you, Atticus, for redeeming bunny ears. Uh, so, Toy Bow Bow, the box is not working properly today. So, um, we're not worried about the time so much at the moment because it's going to run out no matter what we do. Um, but Nick Nayobari in the chat is kindly helping me, um, with, by using the walkthrough for the game. So, unfortunately, that is all we can do at the moment, because when we put, we put in the correct keys for this puzzle, for the first puzzle, and the box was not recognizing them, which I have heard does happen with Escape Room, uh, the game for some people. It has not happened to me in the past, but... I might try it again off stream and see, but chances are, if considering we're having trouble with it, I might not play the second one on stream next week because I don't want you all to have to deal with Frustrated Crystal, because Frustrated Crystal is not that much fun, honestly. Um, I don't like myself when I'm frustrated, um, and uh, so it is what it is, but... Oh my gosh, this is a lot of pieces. Holy cow, this is a lot of pieces. I didn't even read, did I read the, yeah, I read the outside, it was about the tunnels, okay. Those are all pieces that I'm gonna have to separate here in a second, but. Oh my gosh, I'm gonna have to take some pictures for you all to put in the Discord here. Um, uh, if somebody wants to 
hit uh, exclamation mark Discord in the chat, um, you will get a link to our Discord channel, which is where I am posting the photos, the close-ups of these components. Um, I'm not going to separate these ones yet. I am going to have to separate them, but I'll take a picture of all of this um, for you all to look at. And then I'll see if any of them are flippable. Okay, let's see here. These ones. I don't even know if, I, this one will not matter. This will. Let's see if I can get that all in one picture. Cause that's, there's not as many small details here. We'll do that. Okay, I will put these in the Discord. Select more photos. Did you get startled by the lion? I heard you. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, yes, Lana is cozy. Oh, hi, James. How are you tonight? Um, yeah, Lana is definitely cozy. Who's my favorite Dax? Jadzia, easily. I mean, uh, there's no, there's no ifs, ands, or buts. It is Jadzia all the way. Um, yeah, a hundred percent. All right, dear diary, don't forget to make a map of the tunnels before you enter. Otherwise, you will get lost. Connect the four chambers with all the corridors to make the map of the tunnels. Do this by connecting doors of the same color together with corridors of the same color. Start with purple, safe travels, Alan. Okay, then there's a note from Jesse. First, finish the map using the instructions from Alan's diary. Descend into the tunnels with a ladder, then follow my hints in each of the chambers to find out which key you need for the door I chose to take. But hurry, I feel weaker and weaker. <laughs> I love how people are, that are dying of being bitten by a snake or leaving riddles, you know? Like, I love the, 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 the ridiculousness of that. Um, so do I, should I, I guess I should just separate all of these, right? Like... So these are all individual pieces. I, I took a picture of them all together just because otherwise I feel like it would have been... Uh oh that's a little rip. It's fine. Uh. I'm going to lose a piece, guaranteed. <laughs> I, I just know it. With all the luck I've had tonight... I guess I didn't have to do these. These are, it look like they're just double-sided. I didn't notice that earlier, but okay. Thankfully, they're the same on both sides. Yeah. This one looks like more fun than the one you played with mom and granddad. This one is pretty neat. If the box was working, it would be perfect. Um, but if you want recommendations for my favorite escape room games, Hands down, my very favorite one, Escape Room in a Box, The Werewolf Experiment. Easily, easily my all-time favorite Escape Room game. Hands down, that is the one I recommend over anything else. Escape Room in a Box, The Werewolf Experiment. Highly, highly recommend. Um, left hand pinches nose. Right arm goes through. What animal are you? Is this making an elephant? <laughs> what, what animal am I? Does that make me an elephant? 
I don't know what that means. Oh, that's, are they riddles? Oh, the riddles are on the backs of all, okay, okay, okay. We start with purple. Wait, there's two purple things. How do we know which purple to start with? Where do we start? Don't forget to make a map of the tunnels before you enter. Connect the four chambers with all the corridors to make a map of the tunnels. Okay, do this by connecting doors of the same color to together with corridors of the same color. Start with purple. Oh, I see, I see. So I have to connect the two purples. I get it, I get it. Okay. Purple, purple. Is that the only purple? That's the only purple. Okay, well, we're making a map. So. We gotta connect. Wait, there's three blue. And there's these, okay. How in the world? I'm so confused. <laughs> oh, and I, you can't, okay, we're gonna scooch this up a little bit more and move these up also, because y'all can't see exactly what I'm doing here. But like, I'm gonna look at a hint card. That's what I'm gonna do. Read the diary carefully and make the map of the tunnels. First, start by connecting the purple doors with the purple corridor. Yes, I've done that. I'm, I'm really, I'm, I'm, okay, there's only three green. How do I know? Is that orange? I guess. I don't know what color that is. It doesn't look, yeah, I guess it's orange. So if that one needs to be connected, the orange one, wait, there are no orange. Wait, are these orange? Is this orange and that's red? Oh God, that is horrific. Are, oh no, y'all. I think these are two different colors. Look at that. Look how similar they are. Wait, maybe this one. No, these are both orange. This one's red. Yeah, okay. They are different enough. Okay, these are orange. These are orange. Okay, so if we go green, green, green and put this here, then we gotta connect orange to orange somehow. So, here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, oh gosh. Okay, then You gotta get red and blue to red and blue somehow. There's four of each. I don't know if there's like, a sp I am correct in my observations. Okay, cool. The blue path, oops, does some weird stuff. It splits. Why would it, oh, cause, oh, cause there's two. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So that goes here. That has to go there. One of these would have to go here. Okay. And then the other blue door would have to be close enough that, wait. I only have, am I missing a blue one? I only have one blue left. That's not gonna reach. Cause I gotta, I gotta do path for the red. Did I cover up a blue? I knew I was gonna lose a piece. 
Did I just do something wrong? This puzzle isn't as frustrating as I thought it would be, but it is frustrating. Um, Cause yeah, I need to connect the red to the red. Oh, maybe these just go, no, it says, no, there's four pieces, the corridors. How do I get the blues to connect? Like this has to be like that because the purples are there. Like it literally has to be. So how in the world, oh, unless I have the rooms wrong. No, 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 these two are connected to each other. Like that's correct. Oh, I see, hold on, I'm silly. I'm silly, I'm very silly. Okay, I need to move this whole thing. Oh God, it's gonna be, ooh. I'm bad at stuff, but I'm figuring it out. I'm not looking at the chat to see if someone else called out how silly that was, but I figured it out and I figured it out. What did, what did, what did, I didn't lose a blue. Is that one on the left even a blue? There we go. This is this. Okay. We've drawn the map. Now what do I do? <laughs> okay. Yep. Yep. Okay. Descend into the tunnels with a ladder, then follow my hints in each of the chambers to find out which key you need for the door I chose to take. But hurry, I feel weaker and weaker. Okay, where's the ladder? Ladder's right here. Okay. So then we have to fi flip this one over without ruining the map. Okay, what animal am I? If left hand can, I think I was an elephant, right? What do we got here? There's, yep, there is an elephant on the red door. So we're gonna go through the red door, which is a circle. So I'm gonna put a circle key in first. So I'm just gonna lay them up here. Circle key. Then we go down here and then we flip this one over. Okay. Do not step on this tile. It's a trap. Is it just a connect the dots thing? looks like an arrow pointing that direction. Are any of the arrows pointing diagonally? Oh, no, no, it's telling us, wait. Let me look at the arrows on the keys. Are any of them diagonal? Up, up, over, over. Up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Okay, I don't see, so what is, what am I missing here? It looks like an arrow. Oh, wait, the tiles. The tiles have shapes on them. Oh man, you all wouldn't have been able to see this in that picture I posted in the Discord, but look at the tiles. Do you see it? It's that, um... It says, do not step on this tile. And the tile in question is that one, which has a triangle on it. So my assumption would be that we need to put in this key in this orientation for number two. Okay, so that's key number four for Nick. <laughs> then we go through the blue thing. And we're gonna go in the green door. So we're gonna, oof, we're gonna flip this. I only need seven parts. What's left over is the solution. Oh, okay, so this is where we gotta, I didn't, um, yeah. I love that we fully cheated and started the timer over and even still, like I would, I'm gonna run out of time, I think, like. I'm admittedly not great at this, but woo! tearing out pieces of paper, tearing out tiny pieces of paper. <laughs> God, these are really tiny. Uh, uh. Ooh, fun fact, 
everybody. Oh, Coda's here! Hi, Coda! Fun fact, this week's episode of Board Game Blitz is really, really fun and enjoyable. Um, Ambie, so I'll, I'll spoil the topic. So what Ambie and I did for this episode is she and I talked about our favorite memories and games that the two of us have played together. Um, and spoiler alert, in the five years that Ambie and I have known, actually, so we've been podcasting for five years. We've only been playing games together for four years because the entire first year of the podcast, we did not play any games together. We had never, the three of us, me, Ambie, and Cassidy had never met in person. Um, so yeah, it was in the past four years, Ambie and I have played at least 95 different games together. How bananas is that? We don't live in the same place. We see each other a maximum of like a handful of times a year. And that was before the babies were born and the babies are gonna be two this fall. So like, yeah, how have we played 95 games together? I do not know. But this episode is really fun because it's just her and I kind of like reminiscing and remembering all of like the fun things we've done together over the past few years. And it's really lovely. Like when we got done recording, we both were just like, <sighs> Like, it felt really good and satisfying, and I really hope you all enjoy listening to it. Also, if you all have not entered our contest yet, what are you waiting for? Details are in last episode of the podcast and this upcoming episode of the podcast. Y'all, if you want to win some really awesome stuff from Gray Fox Games, you got to enter our contest. Um, so, yeah, make sure you go listen to uh, the podcast to do that. Uh, Nick, you definitely got a shout out because of one of those gaming events because you were in it. Uh, you can say what you think it is and I'll tell you if you're right or not. <laughs> I mean, we've played a lot of games with you, I think, over the years, but there was one game in particular that we, uh, we discussed that you were involved in. Um, so yeah, you got a shout out in the episode. Okay. Here we go. We gotta, oh gosh, I need to put this in a place where you all can see it. If I zoom in a little, I move, oh gosh. Oh my, so sorry, I'm so sorry. I know I don't like doing the wiggly stuff because that can trigger motion sickness things for people. We gotta figure out which of these pieces. Okay, well, this is like a little trapezoid thing and we have a little trapezoid thing. So that seems like we should probably just put it down there, right? Like that seems pretty obvious. Wait, the lines don't line up. Is Does that matter? If I flip it, will they line up? Wait. I don't know if that matters. We're gonna have to figure that out, I guess. Um, nope, that's too big. Where is, where in the, what in the? I can also use two triangles in a square. I could, but the, the triangles are not small enough, I think. Um, where the heck do these gigantic triangles go, y'all? Surely the lines have to line up? I mean, maybe. You'd think they would, right? do these giganto triangles go? Oh, this one can go here, I think. Yeah. Okay, that goes there. Wait, the lines still don't line up. And then this one could go here. Okay. And then this triangle goes here. Square there. Little triangle, little triangle trapezoid, which leaves a square left over. Square. So key number three, or yeah, is a square. So that's number one. Okay, so then 
this goes back over here like this and we get to this room oh my that is a whole bunch of I, I posted the picture in the discord earlier but I don't know if you all were able to see all the details so I'm gonna hold this here for a second is this a um, what's the thing called from the, the game concentration the where pictures mean words yeah uh, coin I equals n plus ECT rebus yes that is what this is okay let me put this up here okay so coin where I equals n so c o n n e c t connect baseball minus b ace ball what ball ball minus b all <laughs> i was like ace ball <laughs> i'm not always smart so we got tree where r equals h so oh minus e so connect all the tor Connect all the tor. What are those? They're like chess pieces. Minus S. Torches. Oh, chess. It's just chess. Okay. Connect all the torches. Okay. That makes a trapezoid, I think. I'm pretty sure if I connect all those torches, it makes a trapezoid. And, ooh, but those are double-sided. No, it's gotta be this one. D, key D. D is what I'm, oh, you can't see that. D is my last key, Nick. <laughs> Yay! Does that mean we're done? Did we escape? Is that it? That's it, right? <laughs> what a hot mess this has been. I'm so glad I started my stream early tonight. You all. What a hot mess. This poor machine did not did, did want to work for me. And uh, we're going to turn off the, the fun music. Mouth trumpet noises. Here, hold on. I got, I got us. I got us. Where's my, uh, air horn. There we go. That's our victory noise. <laughs> All right. So that truthfully, okay. If the box had worked, this would have been pretty great. Honestly, like this one, this one was pretty good. I like the puzzles. I like these this feels different than a lot of the other escape room game systems so i enjoy it for that reason um it is frustrating when the box doesn't work i don't know why the box didn't work here let's let's try it again like yes it literally just says 15 minutes or 60 minutes so we're gonna click on the 60 uh and nick if you haven't put away the guide but if you have we don't have to do this if you haven't put away the guide and you could give me the keys again for the first puzzle. I would love to try it one more time and just see if I, you still have it? Okay, yeah. Like, what are the keys that I need for that first puzzle? Um, I think it was A something. Yeah, the box, we, 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 we checked and I had L, E, five, left arrow. Okay. Oh yeah, so L, the Roman numeral L, E. five and then arrow pointing to the left which is also e okay okay it didn't work earlier we know we did this right we checked it if you put the keys in lightly and push it all at once it can help huh okay well give me the second the, uh, the solution to the second puzzle now because i want to hear that noise again we're gonna get to the victory noise everybody we did it we're just gonna now we're gonna 
do it for real in the, with the box because it's working now. I, I swear we put them in correct. We, you all verified with me that it worked, did not work twice earlier. Okay, code two, E, F, C, two. Okay, we've got E, we've got F, we've got C, and two. Okay, right, last puzzle. I don't remember at all. <laughs> I'm so excited. We're going to get to hear our victory noise now. Is everybody ready? <laughs> Can we do it in under two minutes? <laughs> we're, we're, we're geniuses. No, we did three puzzles. We did le levels one, two, and three. Circle, triangle, right. So this one, is this the correct second key? Is that right? I don't know. Oh, other way, okay. Uh, square and then Roman numeral two. Here we go. Everybody ready for the victory noise? Here it comes. I love that they use the sound clip from the movie where they all shout Jumanji. Like that's super great. I love it. Yay! We solved it and we got to hear movie stars shout the word Jumanji which is really all we came here for, right? That's pretty much it. Uh, um, I'm gonna go ahead and start unpackaging this, but just to catch everybody up, if anybody wasn't here last week, um, this, so this is from Escape Room the Game, and we have been pulled into the Jum Jumanji video game. Our friend Jesse went missing, and when we investigated Jesse's room, we found that they had been sucked into this video game. And then we also hopped into the video game to come save Jesse. Um, we found out that Jesse had been bitten by a poisonous snake. And so we had to, um, five, wait, do not open. Okay. So I feel like I don't open this one yet it's got other stuff in it so we'll put that over here so yeah jesse had been bitten by a snake and we had to procure the antidote by finding the right stuff um the very last thing we did last week are you just standing in front of the camera okay <laughs> you all get to see a furry dog leg right now um we went um through the tunnels to find jesse we had the antidote and we went through the tunnels to find jesse that was the last thing we did last week um, so, uh, we have three levels to complete tonight. I'm going to go ahead and just start opening things, obviously, before I start timers, because we're going to have to organize, make sure everything is here. Shoop. Oh, goodness. Okay. There's, a. Uh, is there more in here? Is that it? I think that's it. Okay. We got a plastic boomerang. That's pretty cool. I don't know how that's gonna work, but we will figure that out in a minute. Then I feel like I should just go ahead and, oh, see, they tear so easily. Or maybe I'm just bad at it. Um, I would love to hear how your all's days have been. Um, and also the love meeples, what were you streaming if you're still here? Um, or somebody that was watching their stream is still here. Let me know what uh, what was going on over there today. Um, like I said, I just got home, so I've seen nothing that's been happening on Twitch this evening. Right now, I'm just going to punch out components so I don't have to do it later. And they're odd shapes, which makes it, like, difficult because you can't just, like, fold, you know? I, and I'm so worried that I'm going to tear everything. Oh, did I just tear the heck out of something? Sure did. <laughs> oh, oh. 
But how is it supposed to stick? Okay, well, I've, I've ruined something. Uh, the bracelet that has my lives on it uh, has been torn. And also this piece has been torn. <laughs> These are hard to punch out. I'm trying. No, 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 don't. Oh, gosh, why is it so? Okay. <laughs> we, we may not wear the bracelet. We might just... It's fine. I should have torn the bracelet off first because it actually was a straight line. But technically, it feels like we already lost one of our lives. Where did it go? Is this it? Is that the life? Or did it get punched out? No, where did it, where did, where did my life go? Oh, here it is. It's in my lap. <laughs> okay, we're going to put the bracelet up here with the life that uh, I've lost. Um... Okay, let's see here. Playing along with Rolling Village. Nice, free print and print and play. Nick says, I spent two hours with a supplier trying to figure out an issue, no dice. Oof. Yeah, um, when it comes to suppliers of anything right now, uh, that seems like not fun to deal with. <laughs> Doom Kitten says, where did my life go? Something I ask myself every day. <laughs> I apparently have three of them this evening, so as long as we uh, as long as we keep one, I think we'll be fine. Okay, we're gonna. You know what? I'm just gonna toss this over there because it's out of the way. Try not to lose any of the components. And then map of some sort. I'm gonna put this over here for now, even though I know we're gonna need it. All right. Um. I'm not going to start the timer yet, but I'll go ahead and turn it on. Which one's the 60 minute? I can't see. All right, let's see here. So I'm going to go ahead and read. Oh, I'm going to need the flashlight on my phone. Interesting. Okay. All right, I'm going to read this and then, uh, oh, you have the walkthrough open. So in case of malfunctions, you can provide corrections. Thank you so much, Nick. Hopefully today it'll be fine. Uh, oh, the captions were being weird. Um, they do that sometimes. <laughs> All right, I'm just going to read this. Here we go. Level four, animal attack. You have succeeded in finding Jesse at the end of the tunnels. Jesse is still breathing, but barely conscious. You quickly administer Jesse the antidote, and after a short period of time, Jesse has recovered enough to speak. You can only get back to the real world after you break the curse of Jumanji and yell Jumanji a certain amount of times. To break the curse, you'll need to use the green jewel from my pocket, Jesse explains, that the curse can only be broken when the emerald moon appears in the sky, an event that only happens one night every decade. Fortunately, tonight is that one special night. In exactly one hour, the emerald moon will reach its highest point and will be in the right position to break the curse. You'll have to hurry or wait another ten years. I'm sorry, guys, Jesse says. I'm not strong enough to go with you. Come back for me when you've broken the curse. Hurry! You stumble into the dangerous jungle to start on your journey toward the location where the curse can be broken. All of a sudden, a small monkey jumps on your backpack and runs away with something green in its hands. Then you realize that cheeky monkey has stolen the jewel. You try to go after it, but come face to face with five dangerous animals. You hope your three lives will be enough. Okay. So level four, recover the jewel and find your way through the dangerous jungle. Okay. Um, so I am going to read the steps first um, and then I will start the timer. Why would you have to go back? Doesn't everyone get yeeted out of Jumanji at the same time? I mean, yeah, like canonically, there's a whole bunch of whole plot holes, right? <laughs> I'm also, I have a sneeze stuck in my nose. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> oh my gosh. That was, uh, I was worried that was going to get stuck in there. Okay. So one, it's got a picture of this green stick thing. Two, find out from which of the six positions you can eliminate the most animals with just one boomerang throw. Three, find the location where the monkey hid the jewel. This must be in one of his favorite locations. The volcano, the bushes, the tree, the tent, the cave, or the water. 
Uh, four, check the tattoo on your arm to see how many lives you have left. Okay, so I'm gonna take pictures of things for you all before I start the timer as well. I almost forgot to do that, but I wanna make sure, oh gosh, that glare from the ring light. This is probably gonna be too small for you all to do anything with, but I'm gonna try anyway. And then, oh gosh. Okay, we can put some of this stuff in the same, I mean, I don't know which way is up. Oh, I guess that's probably right. Okay. Um, take a picture of this. And I'll take a picture of the keys again as well, um, just so you all can see those. And I'll, the ones that are double-sided, I will flip one of them over to their other side. So that way you can see both sides of those. <laughs> so I think that should be all of them. Did not flip, but I think it'll work. Think we'll be okay. Do to do to do, heading into the Discord. And it does make it look like we're gonna be activists. Um, that is a good point. So I'm gonna put some photos in the live on stream channel. Select more photos. Okay, done. Sorry, some of them are sideways. My apologies. Hopefully at least you all will be able to see a little bit more detail um, in the ones that I've uploaded to the Discord. Okay. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and start the timer and then we've got 60 minutes, y'all, so let's do it. Okay, so this is the first thing it says to do. To break the curse. Okay, well there's, looks like lines to fold this on. So this says one. So I'm gonna fold on that first. And then I'm gonna fold on that one. And then on this one. kind of looks like a number one. It's like a weird wonky one though. Did I, did I fold one of these wrong? Oh, that's a little bit off. Yeah, it's supposed to be over more. I bet if I do it like that. Yeah, that has to be number one, right? So one is number one. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this key in like that. Number two, find out from which of the six positions you can eliminate the most animals with just one boomerang throw. Okay. I will probably zoom the camera in for this. I mean, how many animals? There's one, two, three, four, five animals, right? Do I, are there any more? Position six gets three of them. I can't fathom anything else getting more than that. It's gotta be position six. Yeah. So number six uh, for number two. Find the location where the monkey hid the jewel. This must be one of his favorite locations. The volcano, the bushes, the tree, the tent, the cave, or the water. Oh, and it shows me what the monkey's footprints look like. So if you all look in the Discord at that photo, um, 
Oh, so for some of the keys, Doom Kitten, there are multiple of the same key. Um, first time chat from viewer by Jordan Luke. Hi! Sorry I missed your message right when it popped up. Um, thank you for joining us for the first time. Um, I hope that you enjoy escape room games. Okay, so let's see. We got to follow the monkey's path. So let's see here. Where's, where did the monkey end up is the question. I don't even know. But we got to find the monkey's prints. Okay, I can see them back here. Okay. Volcano, bushes, tree, tent, cave, or water. So if the monkey starts here... It goes really close to the water, but not in it. And it comes out back over here, loops around that way, and comes up and ends here. It doesn't look like it goes right up to any of them. What are they? Okay, I must be. So the volcano? No. I mean, it's not, it doesn't come up to the volcano. The bushes, I assume, are this thing right here. I'll zoom this in a little bit. Uh, apologies. Hi, Andy! If it gets a little shaky for a second. Let's see if I can zoom this in. You all can see it. I know I put it in the Discord, but this way you all can see what I'm doing. But the monkey does not, I mean, it comes, again, near the bushes, but not in the bushes. The tree. Where's the tree? Is that the tree? I don't think any of these things are on the back. What is, are these the bushes? And that's the tree? The tent is here. The cave. Is this the cave, I assume? It's just rocks. But how do I know? Or the water. I mean, it comes closest to the water. At least it's on the path that's next to the water, but it doesn't go through the water. So that's where I'm a little confused. Um, if you watch a channel from a raid, it doesn't read the same as if you watch it without the refer raid on the end of the URL. Oh, okay. Well, for the record, um, we can use a hint if we want. Um, I will go ahead and grab the first one. It probably will tell us something we already know, but let's see here. Place the boomerang. Yep, okay. Yep, we got, it's the boomerang, it's fine. You think it's the tree? But the tree I think is up here and the monkey doesn't really come that close to the tree. It comes closest to the water. And then number four says, Check the tattoo on your arm and see how to see how many lives you have left. Was I supposed to punch? Oh, here, what does this say? Wrap the paper band around your wrist like a bracelet. Yeah, but how do I attach it? I don't understand what the, does it mean wrap it around? Oh, wait a second, maybe. Is this, okay. I think this, no, it won't fit in there. I'm trying to figure out if this is supposed to like go in here. Yeah, maybe, here, I'll punch them out. Oh, I see what you're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. Because if we wrap it around, see how many lives we have left. Two of them are dark and one of them is not. Um, and on this guide, it says lives. Lives left, lives lost. So we have two lives left. So number two will go in the fourth spot. So fourth key is number two. So now we just have to figure out this this one. I it, There's no obvious answer to me. Did you all see in the Discord? I'm gonna, I'm gonna hold this in a way that it will not be good for you all because I'm gonna study it pretty closely. But like, I'm trying to see what the monkey, oh wait, the monkey, 
<gasps> it snuck. Oh man, it's it's oh man, this these big paw prints, it like snuck. Oh, that's sneaky. It used somebody else's tracks to cover its tracks. And it went all the way. Hold on. Oh, that's clever. That's so clever. I like it. It's in the cave. It goes it goes into the cave. That cheeky monkey. Okay, so the cave. Find the location where it hid the jewels. How do I know what um, the cave means? Like, as far as the keys go, though. It has six locations, but they're not numbered. So how do I know what key to put in? Oh, do I draw? How do I figure this out? I hate when I know the answer, but I don't know the answer. You know what I mean? It's definitely the cave, but I don't know what that corresponds with. Like, Oh, that's, that's interesting. Um, anything you say is a hint, so you have to be mom for a bit. Okay. Um, I mean, I'm okay with hints if, like, I, I, I'm not, I know you know the answer, so it's different, but, well, let's see. I, my next hint card is coming in a minute, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it now, because I know that I'm at a time disadvantage because I'm streaming. Okay. Okay. Yeah, no, nothing new. So I found the cave. There are numbers in the middle here, but they don't seem to correspond with the locations. That's where we put the boomerang earlier. Oh, wait, there's a triangle. Oh, okay. I found it. Um, it's this one. It's, it's, it's pretty well hidden, but it's the trapezoid thing. Nice. Okay. Well, Nick, so far the box is working. Uh, oh, and I, I did it before I saw your hint, so I feel smart. Um, okay, cool. So, we are good with level four. So now we move on to level five. Uh... This is where the puzzle's coming in. Let's hope. Oh, and I'm going to zoom this out. Apologies for the shakiness. I'm going to try and hold it. But y'all are going to need to see the table here because we got puzzle pieces coming out. That's a lot of puzzle pieces. Slide this in here. We'll organize those in a minute. Um, so level five, break the curse. After your wild animal experience, you finally approach your first safe stop, the bazaar. You enter the bazaar to restock your supplies. While you are talking about your encounter with Jesse, a couple of mean looking men walk up to you and start swearing and threatening you. It turns out that Jesse has a huge debt with some very nasty people. Fortunately, there are a lot of ways to make money at the bazaar. Level five, earn money to pay off Jesse's debt. Okay. Oh, <laughs> that's funny. Okay, is that it? Just those? Nope, there's more. We're gonna have to do some karate dance fighting in a second, it looks like, if I remember anything from these movies. Um, I hate having to rip things out of this stupid paper. <laughs> Here, let's fold along this and get all three of them kind of at once. And then this 
This is your weekly uh, watch Crystal punch things out of paper stream. Enjoy it. <laughs> oh, goodness. Watch Crystal get frustrated by punching things out of paper. Those three? Is this one big thing? Thankfully, this is one big thing. Do I actually need to punch it out? I don't know. I might not punch the whole thing out right now until I find out I need to. So we'll just leave that with the edges on for now. And then we have these monies and some more of these pieces. So I think these ones probably definitely need, probably definitely need to come out. That's a good phrase. Probably definitely. It's very Midwestern, I feel, of me. It's kind of like, yeah, no, and no, yeah. I could cut them out, it's probably not faster. Yeah, because I have scissors, but, oh. Yeah, like I've spent literally like three minutes just ripping paper. That doesn't feel thematic. Oh God, I tore off the corner a little. This is what happens when I start speeding up. I get careless. And then do I have to punch out the money? They're all individual. We'll punch them out when we get to it. I'm not gonna stress about it for now. Um, should I just assemble the puzzle? Y'all tell me, do you think I should just assemble this puzzle? There's stuff on the front and the back. So I'm a little concerned about that fact. Should I assemble it on top of something like a play mat? I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get a play mat of some kind. I think I have one nearby. Do I have a clear, hard, flat thing, like a transparency or glass board? No, <laughs> I have nothing of the sort, unfortunately. So we're gonna scooch all this up. Oh God, I, okay, there goes the hint cards. I've only got my welcome to mat, which is kind of busy, but that's okay. Oh, technically, we have access to the next tent card. Is this the, the, this is still for level four. We already solved level four. That means we're ahead of time. So good, we're, we're doing good. Okay, I know what I need to do. Corners first and edges, here, edge, edge, non-edges, edge. If I've learned anything from Ambie's streams, it's sorting can be very helpful and sometimes necessary. There's another corner. Whoop, that was a corner. Oh gosh. space to sort things properly, we will make do. I assume this is not going to be too difficult of a puzzle. Maybe that's a bad assumption on my part, but we're just going to start piecing it together. I couldn't see it. These pieces are not sticking together as well as I would like. 
but yeah, they're like not ideal, but that's okay. Sorry, I'm not watching chat at all. I apologize. There it is. Probably one more up here, maybe. Let's see. Yep. Okay, so now. There should be a page that says what you need to do. Oh. Uh, was it on the back of the other thing? Oh wait, this is level four. Uh, sorry, wrong envelope. Maybe I missed something in here. No? Is it on the back of one of these other things? Smell on the back of that. It's not on the back of the money. That was all that was in there. Unless I dropped it, but I don't think I did. I do not see a page anywhere that says what I need to do. I mean, it's entirely possible that I accidentally dropped it, but I don't. Let me look in the envelope again. Oh, yeah, there is there's stuff on the back of the puzzle. Oh, okay. Let's, where did the other, here are the corners go. Let's grab these and then we'll work off those. There we go. And then. Oh my God, why is it so hot? Why is, did the AC turn off down here? I have to check. It's very warm in my office right now. Hopefully that'll kick on. If my second if my second air, air conditioner goes out, I'm in big trouble. So oh man, this is um. Also, I need to turn the light up. I hope it doesn't the glare doesn't get too bad for you all, but I cannot see what I'm doing, so you're gonna get some glare for a minute. This is way better. I'm just gonna piece together anything I can see that fits, basically. Okay, good, the AC just kicked back on. Nux tint already? Oh man. Uh, there we go. Maybe? Yeah. Um, the glare is not helping me either, but at least I can kind of see stuff. I'm sure you all watching this can see things that I can't probably, and they're just like, why is she so bad at this? Let's teach these. Um. I don't see one like that anywhere. Okay, well this goes here, so let's just keep putting stuff together that we can see, rather than stressing about what we can't. There we go, these go together. Maybe this fits into. No. Oh, 
Well, I was right about one thing. I am bad at jigsaw puzzles. Um, because I haven't done one in such a long time. Maybe this goes up here. I think this goes up here. Yeah. This is where having multiple people would definitely also come in handy because... That one. is not a high quality puzzle. Ambi would not approve. <laughs> is this like torture to watch me try and do this? I bet it is. So then this. Oops. Here, here, here. I'm missing an edge piece somewhere. I threw it in the pile probably by mistake. So, that's fine. Let's just... Yeah, that fits, but not well. <laughs> this goes here. A little bit of light on the side, maybe. Oof, these are horrible. <laughs> They're horrible. I hope that's not just me. Like, this seems... There's the edge piece that I was missing. Okay. Having it on a very busy playmat, also not the smartest idea. Okay, so the bottom of that thing is on the for one of these. some blue in there too so it's one of these guys there we go all right something light this one maybe no there maybe this one no All right, well, let's move on to stuff that we can fix. See, oh, these puzzle pieces do not want to fit together. They're all bendy and warped and kind of awful. Um, the rest of the face. There's a whole person? There's a whole whole person somewhere. Because I've got some abs in my hand right now. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know where this goes yet, but sorry that I've been completely ignoring the chat. Um <laughs> I ho uh, hi Joe. Um, I'm bad at puzzles. Yeah, I, I I am. Puzzles are not my strong suit. So 
because we're gonna come up somewhere else. Is that like, okay, it's like with the yellow stitching through something. I don't see it. It's curtain. A rug. And, ooh. Ooh, rug. There it is. Oh, this is a big person standing here. So where's the rest of his hand? Where's his fingers? Where'd I put his face? Oh my gosh. Um... This is definitely part of his body. Oh, it's upside down. Okay. This is also part of... Something. Not quite sure. I'll figure that out in a second. This is also... Yeah, there we go. There, there's, there's the hand. This goes like that. Um, not that one. There's, I need something that has a little edge. There we go. Uh, these are so bendy, it's very annoying. I know this one goes over here somewhere. I just can't quite figure out. Oh, and I bent it. It's fine. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. My sweet girl. Uh, ooh. There we go. Okay, the rest of his arm, we got an uh, inside of an elbow over here. There we go. Okay, maybe this was his shoulder somehow. No. The heck is this? It's over here. Oh, it's over here. Okay. This one goes over here. Okay. Oh my gosh, we're already down the 30 minutes. Ah! Um, gray. Y'all, if I have to flip this thing over, I mean, which we think I definitely do, do have to do, it's gonna be annoying. Wait, where's the green one? That one's up here. This probably goes there. And then where do you two go? Bottom of that vase, right here. You go right there, and like so. Okay, now I'm gonna take a picture of this dang thing <laughs> because holy crap! Uh, how can I do this without glare? I'm gonna turn the light off for a second and see if I can take a picture of it that is clear enough for you all to see what's going on. Is that it? Oh, yeah, okay. I'm going to take a picture of this. Okay. I mean, I only took a couple of pictures, but I will upload those into the Discord as well. So now we have our instructions, at least. 
Um, and I'm going to turn the light back on because I can't see. And I know you all cannot see right now because it's the glare, so let me turn this down and see if that'll... Eh, it helps a little. Okay. Ways to earn money. Win the staring contest. Find and take the hidden money at the bazaar. Win a dance fight. Don't forget to check your banknotes. How many notes are fake? The ones... The one you keep folded in your pocket is definitely real. Oh, man. All right, where did I put those banknotes? The one you keep folded. Okay, so this one's definitely real. So the one that's been folded. So we just have to compare that one against the others to figure out um, which, what the other ones are. Did I take a picture of these and put it in the Discord? <laughs> You're disappointed that I'm not doing this blindfolded. Uh, yes, sorry, I, um, I'm, I'm trying to read the chat, but it's difficult because I can't stop the timer, and I'm trying to focus. Oof. Here, did I, did I put the money in the Discord? Did I do that already? Can somebody confirm or deny? Because if not, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a picture, and I'm going to make you all figure out which ones of these are real and which ones are fake. And by make you, I mean allow you to. <laughs> Uh, okay. Dang it, one of them is sideways. I'm sorry. Hopefully y'all will be able to work with that. I should have just flipped it before I uploaded it. I'm sorry. Hopefully, hopefully y'all will be able to work with that. If not, let me know and I'll take a new picture. Um, but I, if you all can figure out which of my banknotes are fake, that would be great. I'm going to leave them attached to the paper for now. Um... Okay, so I have to win the staring contest. Well, his tattoo says, don't stare. And then these little things have eyes on them and they have the same pattern as the boxes. So that's interesting. Let's grab these. I assume this is a puzzle that I need to assemble. And that if I assemble it correctly, I will know something. So I can't do blue blue, so that can't be the case. So that can't be right. Oh, they're numbered. One, two, three, four, five. I don't know what that means. Well, I, I have clues to look at. So you know what? I'm gonna look at some dang clues. How about that? Level five. Card. Place four eye cards in a square. Make sure you connect right eyes to left eyes of the same creature. The remaining card is the solution. The one should be at the bottom left side. Okay. One is bottom left. which way it's oriented is the thing. Nope. You found the fake banknote? Awesome! Uh, which one is it? Uh, if, if the numbers are one, two, three, four, five, um, I mean, one, we know one is real, so of these four, top left, top right, bottom left, bottom right. Number two? Okay, so oh, so this one, because I numbered this one too. Oh, that's a fake. Okay. Uh, I don't know what to do with that information yet. Top left. Okay, cool. I will figure out what I need to do with that in a minute. Um, I gotta figure out this puzzle. That's not right. Uh, shoot. It was so close. Try this one. Mm. 
Nope, no, it can't be blue blue. That's not right. wasn't which one is fake it was how many are fake oh okay so only one of them is fake cool so that's the answer to number two um oh no no number four four is bank notes so one is fake so that means number four is one y'all we're not gonna say i'll solve this in 60 minutes at the rate i'm going this puzzle is throwing me for a loop it said one is bottom left. I, I feel like I've oriented these in you know, so many ways already, but clearly not the right way. Wait, nope, that's upside down. It's always one that's off. one's upside down oh my goodness I if you look at the top one it says Nagis and the others say Ma oh Nagis and Magis okay cool Well, I have a lot of clue cards that I could look at, but I'm not. I'm going to see if it gives me another hint for this puzzle or not. That's a different thing. Uh, I'm frustrated. So the answer is four for this one. Uh, this is a staring contest. So number the first key is four. Okay. Find and take the hidden money at the bazaar. Okay, hidden money. Is this why it said I was going to need my flashlight? Because... Ooh, is this the money? Are those bags of money? Wait, is that money? That's money. Hold on. There's like wads of rolled up cash. There's an H on the back of this one. R on the back of that one. Oh god. T. Here's some money. E. Three, T H R E. There's probably another E. Three is going to be this one. So, um, okay. So then, that's number two. It's key three. The drums are making me anxious. Game, okay, don't do that. That's rude. Key three. Okay, what is this number two? Yeah, hidden money is number two. Okay. Win a dance fight. Okay. Hit both your opponents without getting hit. OK. 
Okay, I get hit there. I get definitely get hit there. Hmm. I think it's this one. I don't know, does that count as hitting me? I can't tell. <laughs> Just maybe, let me get back up to this one. Yeah, he definitely hit me there. It's gotta be this one. Okay, so now I gotta look at these symbols though and see what they are on the decoder box. This is not the flashlight part. Okay. Okay, so let's see. Um, I'm not actually sure how to use this right now with the box code. Line with two dots. This doesn't fit what I know to be the way this thing works. So I've either done something wrong or I'm just reading this incorrectly. Like he's hitting me. I'm definitely getting hit there. I'm definitely getting hit there. Definitely getting hit there. Definitely getting hit there. Definitely getting hit there. It's gotta be this one, right? But I don't know what to do with these symbols now. Okay, so you all, the, the money thing is where you were, we have an issue? I don't know what to do with this. These, I know it has to do with this, but I don't understand. Some of these make sense to me and some of them don't. So they can't be this one. Here, let's just, I'm gonna, this is a little cheaty, but that can't be right. This also cannot be right. No. No. None of these make any sense. If I zoom this in, will you all be able to, in terms of help here, it's the upper right because this puzzle sucks. Okay, perfect. So the, that, yeah, that makes, y'all see how much I'm getting, oh, I wonder if it's because they're, no, that doesn't make any sense. Like, look at this, look at how, oh, there's like a glare. Let me see if I can block the glare. Like, this doesn't. Oh, I have it flipped? <gasps> oh! Well, oh gosh, they have these corner things and I, yeah, okay, okay. This makes way more sense now. And I, there's tiny numbers on it, but I didn't see it. But that also does not look like, I guess technically I blocked his punch, but okay. So now I know what to do with these symbols because they make sense now. So it's F, I, that's probably a V, yep, five. Okay, five. Where's key five? It's on the other side of two, I think. Yeah. Okay. 
Let's see here. What? Oh, the money. Two for the money? Which one's the money one? Uh, four. You want to try two? We're going to run out of time anyway, so whatevs. Uh, yeah, here we go. Two. There we go. We got it. Okay. Oof, what a mess. Okay. Level six, the Emerald Moon. You have paid off Jesse's debt in the bazaar and continue on your journey through the jungle. Finally, you're getting close to the location where the curse can be broken. It's an inhospitable area with three big mountains at its center. According to Jesse, one of these mountains should be the Devil's Tooth, as is spoken of in the legend of Jumanji. However, Jesse doesn't know which one it is. Jesse told you the legend of Jumanji by heart. When the Emerald Moon is highest, the Devil's Tooth will point the way to the stone plaque. Place the jewel in the plaque and call Jumanji to end this game. You look up and see that the Emerald Moon is almost at its highest point. There isn't much time left to find the plaque. You open your bag and find the clues that Alan left for you in the hut. Turn over the jigsaw puzzle, find the stone plaque, and place the jewel inside. Turn over the puzzle? How do they expect you to do that? Like, how? I mean, I know I put it on a play mat, so at least I have a fighting chance. But, like, how? Especially considering this is one of the most horrifically made puzzles ever. Because now i got to put this stuff back in it, I guess. Oh, man, it's all flip over the puzzle. What kind of nonsense is this? Where did you go? You're up here. This one's over here. So what I think I need to do is grab another playmat and put it on top. Or grab something. I need something solid. Right? Something hard and flat like the box. And then I'll use the playmat. This is going to be bad. Oh god, it's already bad. <laughs> that didn't work at all. <laughs> oh, oh, oh no. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Friends. What? 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 I didn't, I, this was bad. Um... Yeah, um, I don't, okay. This is, <sighs> slide it back, oh no, no, yeah, no, um, Y'all, I can you see? I don't know if you can see how bendy these pieces are, but like, they're not flat. Like, hold on. I wonder if I can show you how. That's true. But like, I'm not putting this puzzle together again. I hope nobody is disappointed by that fact, but I'm not putting it together again. I'm not. It's a horrible puzzle. <laughs> yeah. Um, so let's look at some hint cards, shall we? Find the differences between the bank. No okay, we already did that. Fold the three mountains and use the drawing of the last, like fold the three mountains. Oh, did I not open the envelope? I never actually opened the envelope. Huh. I got so distracted by the puzzle, I didn't even open the last envelope. I'm mad. <laughs> I hope you all are mad with me in a fun way. The heck? Oh, I found the emerald. <laughs> okay. 
Greenland's technology, perhaps. I can't do it. I can't, I can't do it. <laughs> it says, so this is what we would have done. Uh, it was not super expensive. And truthfully, we got a lot out of it. Like, we got a whole hour before, we got the 15 minutes before that, we got this hour. So, like, overall, I'm still not mad, but this is disappointing, right? Like, okay, fold the three mountains and use the drawing of the last emerald moon to place them on the correct positions on the back of the jigsaw puzzle. Jaguar's fang goes on this symbol. Okay, well, that's what we would have done. And then in two minutes, we would have gotten this hint card. Whoa. To which letter does the shadow of the devil's tooth point? Key three. Which color does this shadow have? Key four. Key two. Wow. Oh, man. I'm kind of glad that we're not doing this part of it because anything with light and shadows in escape room games tends to be really difficult. Like, um, there's a... Uh, this is not a spoiler per se, um, but one of the exit games involves light to some degree, and you have to do shadows, and it's hard. Um, so, key two. Well, um, Nick, do you want to give me the solution so we can hear the Jumanji yell? Because I feel like that's the best part of this game, right? Is hearing everybody yell, Jumanji! But, like... The last emerald moon. You're, puzzl you're puzzling a picture in Discord from the solution showing now how they have it done. ready for the, our favorite part? Here it comes. Ready? not just tonight, but the whole thing, had some really interesting puzzles. They used some components in fun and interesting ways. Um, I especially ended up liking, even though it was difficult at first, the, the, the tunnels from last week. I thought that actually was kind of neat. Um, like, that was cool. If this puzzle were better quality, that would be a plus. I recognize that, you know, cost of components, they got to keep stuff down. But, like, this is... All of the pieces are a little bit warped, which just made it impossible to keep together. And then, that would not have been as big of an issue if, in fact, they weren't about to ask me to flip it over. And, like, any smart person could have clued into that fact because there, we could see there's stuff on the back of it. But I feel like they should provide you with the means to do that, right? Like, they should tell you, assemble it. Well, the box doesn't work because it's a it's a, got a tuck thing. It doesn't have a like a lid and a base. But in theory, if it had a base and a lid, if you assembled the puzzle inside the box, flipped the lid upside down and slid it down into it, then you could flip that over and pull the base off and then have it sitting on top of the lid. So even though we kind of knew that we were going to have to look at the backs of these pieces to some degree, like they have to get, you can't just flip over a jigsaw puzzle. That's not a thing like that just, you don't do that. So 
that's a little frustrating. Overall, though, I still really liked this box. I, 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 I enjoyed the theme. Jumanji's fun. I really loved the, the new Jumanji movie, the first one. The second one was not good, um, in case anyone has not seen that. But, like, um, of the new Jumanji movies, the first one is spectacular. I highly recommend it if you haven't watched it. Um, but, yeah, I don't... It just... Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll talk about this on Dice Tower tonight, tomorrow. I haven't decided for sure. I have another game that I kind of want to talk about. Um, because, well, I'll either be talking about it on Dice Tower tonight or Board Game Blitz soon. Um, but I got to play Destinies from Lucky Duck Games. Uh, I only got to play the intro scenario, but holy crap, y'all, is that game fun. <laughs> it is very much my jam. Um, and I'm hoping I get to play more of it soon. Uh, this game, while fun, had some disappointing moments. Um, so, it is what it is. Um, yeah. 